Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can add tags like this. Let's say view, enter, then react, enter, let's say nux3 and how we can remove them with backspace as well as on this button click. So let's see how to do this without any further ado, let's begin. Okay. To begin with, I have the same project that I used to create the calendar UI from scratch using view 3. So if you haven't checked that video, please do check that video. Uh, I'll be using the same project. So here in the app.view, we will bring in our tag input and inside tag input. So inside components tag, we'll create a folder and inside that we'll create a tag input file or component. And that's where we will write our tag input. So to begin with, let's have our scaffolding with vbase. Next, let's import ref. And then we will need a few things here. So first we will need tags. Let's say default tags. So here we will have tags which will be of string, array of string. And here we can add some default tag. Let's say view and let's say react. Let's add just two tags. Then we will need an input to accept tag value. So const tag equal to an in ref again which is a blank string by default. Then we will also have X mark icon coming from hero icons. So X mark icon that will come from hero icons, view 24, outline, perfect. And here we will first write our functions. So first we'll write function to remove tag, remove tag, which will take in the index number from the array which so index will be of type number and simply we will splice the indexed val position value here we have function to add tag now here what we will do is we will trim off the spaces value great and then if it's blank we won't add anything if it's not blank we will just say tags dot value will be tax dot value and v and then we will say tag dot value will be blank again great now last here we will need a function to handle our key space so let's say if someone hit enter we need to run this add tag function so if someone hit backspace we need to hit remove tag function so here i'm going to say function manage key press which will take the event object and here I'm going to say if e dot key equal to equal to enter, then add tag else if e dot key equal to equal to backspace. And then in that case, remove tag. And that's it. Perfect. Now our UI. So here, what I'm going to do is first, let's add some bit of full and maybe some margin from top and bottom. Inside this, we'll take a div with class flex, then flex wrap so that each new tag goes on a new line if it doesn't fit in the width a static height of around i guess this is 80 pixel yep then all the items will be in center some spacing between each child border border gray of maybe 200 rounded md then padding of maybe around three which gives 12 pixel overflow x will be hidden and overflow y will be auto so on the vertical axis we will have scroll but on the horizontal axis there won't be any scroll then on hover we want a ring over ring purple maybe 400 and here we will have transition all is in out duration around 150 millisecond Inside this, we will have our tags first and then the input. So here I'm going to say span tag again, which will be class of flex items 
center then we will have slight padding on this so padding of two then bg gray 500 with opacity of okay sorry 400 maybe and opacity of 50 percent then we will have rounded md and then we will have spacex of maybe two great now here we will use v4 as well inside this so here i'm gonna say v4 then i will use t for tags and i for index in tags the key will be index value then here we will have a span tag and the x mark icon x mark icon with width of four height of four stroke gray of maybe 600 and here we will have at click so whenever this is click we will run a function to remove a tag of that index and here we will have the tag value class equal to text gray of 800 perfect next we will need our input so input will come outside of this parent span so here we will have input with type text class so here we will have flex grow height full and maybe no outline outline none then border none here we model will be tag and key press will be handled by manage key press all good so that's our tag input so let's see how it looks like let's refresh this there we go we have our tags now let's add some tag here next maybe uh nux3 <laughs> let's remove some okay so the backspace is not working let's see why the backspace is not working the reason it's not working because we have key press here so key press listens for once the key is completely pressed so it, you take key down and key up so what we need to do is we just need to focus here for key down and that should listen for backspace so if we go back again and now try it there we go if you notice it removes the last like it removes the previous value it doesn't remove the nux3 so what we need to do here is instead of saying remove tag maybe we can do something like this tags dot value dot pop so that will remove the last item and here we also need to make sure that it only removes it if tag dot value is blank okay because we don't want let's say we type view three and we want to remove the three and put two then at that time we don't want this function to run we only want to run when the tag value is blank or when the input is blank so let's go back over here let's add next next three if we remove it okay that's great so next three now if we remove it there we go and perfect so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel I'll see you in the next video till the next time goodbye